Welcome back. It is still sports just right here on the Captain TV studios. Yes, today is Rep Your Jersey Day and I am repping the Manchester United Jersey. Of course, and I am not alone in the studio. I have two amazing gentlemen. I have the one and only Cyprian Akomaye, aka CY. Good afternoon, CY. <laughs> good, afternoon, good afternoon. Always, always smiling. Uh, always smiling. Always and of smiling. course, you are also repping the Manchester yes, United so Jersey. She <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it safe to say glory, glory, my United? Yes, so no matter what, come in, come shine. Glory, glory, my United. All right. I also have a new face with us. He's none other than Rex. Rex, good afternoon and good welcome afternoon, to Good afternoon, good afternoon, ma'am. Thank you very much. What club are you repping? Well, I'm neutral for today. All right. <laughs> they have the NFL. Um, I'm back. Uh, yes, I'm not trying to show my neutrality. But, but you have a club you support? Yeah, I support a club actually. Chelsea? You told me? Yeah, you got me right there. Why do you not know your Chelsea jersey though? Uh, just like you said earlier, so my name is called Go to the Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, today I just went back to be neutral. I wanted to wear this beautiful Manchester United white jersey. I don't know. I just I yeah, love yeah, white it's so it's much. It's contagious. It's contagious. It's not contagious. I'm just trying to be. Yeah, I'm trying to be neutral. You don't have to tell us. You don't have to tell I us. I mean, I can know. decide to wear Barcelona. You know, deep down, there's there's United. There's United somewhere inside. So you don't. You know, I'm going to agree with you on that one. United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yesterday, the Super Eagles of Nigeria took on the Crocodiles of. Les Soto. He ended in a one all. But before the game, we took the liberty to go out in the streets of Abuja to find out people's opinion as regards that game. Let's watch this. Sports lovers, is still your favorite girl, Darius Numba. And we are out here in the streets of Abuja because the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be taking on the Crocodiles of Les Soto. I want to find out your predictions for tonight's game. Just Let's go! Actually, I would say that's not a game. We are the giant of Africa, and uh, I, I, I would say 5-0. 5-0? 5-0. In favor of Nigeria? Two seconds, we are done with the game. Oh I'm proud of Nigeria. God. For my prediction, I think like Nigeria can be beat them like 3-1. 3-1? Yes. All right. Because I believe Osime Mama can score ball. But you know see Osime get injury. Oh. Okay, no problem. Whether Osime get injury, we get person like Alex or maybe this and this. There are plenty. So Nigeria can try. Well, I expect Nigeria to go on and win the match by three goals to, to nil. Oh, because really? considering the quality of players we have, the likes yeah. of Victor Boniface, you know, Alex Iwobi, Kelechi Henacho, Nathan uh, Teller and the rest. So I expect Nigeria to go on and win. And again, if you remember, we lost out at the uh, last World Cup, couldn't yes, participate yes, there. Yes. So I know they'll want to make amends and make sure this time around they qualify for the World Cup. Yeah, I believe uh, Nigeria will be win two. One. Uh, we're going to win four goals, five goals to Nim. Mm, based on saying in my country, if yeah. Nigeria win, I will be very happy. I wish them good luck, oh, but I don't, I don't believe in Nigeria again. Time of playing of football, I don't trust them again because anything can happen. We don't see what that happen for the last. Based on Nigerian qualification, I bet now uh, African Cup of Nations. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Don't disgrace us. Yeah. Don't fall out. No, even get any hope on them again. Yeah. But if they win today, oh, We'll give them the best all right you've heard it from the people they believe nigeria will go all out and not just win lesotho but destroy lesotho so the stage is set and the players are ready to go all out for the world cup qualifiers will nigeria be victorious or will lesotho beat us at the gospel like pabio stadium only time will tell i will see you again next time bye for now Well, welcome back. You heard it from the people. See why? Now, when I went out of the street yesterday, I saw the optimism, the enthusiasm, <laughs> <laughs> the excitement in people's faces. And, uh, you know, even me, like, I had high expectations. I thought my GL was going to win all, oh, maybe 3 0, 4 0. I'm just trying to be patriotic. <laughs> I mean, I'm Nigerian. I'm the giant of Africa, so sure. we should have that, you know, that spirit of a giant. We cannot be a giant and act like a, a lizard, you know. I mean, I thought Nigeria was going to go all out and pick, if I just annihilate them, but reverse was the case. We considered first, but we got a draw. A draw is not a good result for Nigeria. I mean, um, the 
playing against a nation ranked 157 in the FIFA ranking. I think that is very, very poor. Let me hear from you, CY. Um, like, my, my opinion, my opinion generally, when it comes to the Super Eagles, yeah? it's always... Of, like, I don't want to say I'm a very, very negative kind of person when it comes to the Super Eagles, but my mind generally when it comes to the super eagles any affair that concerns the super eagles i am always very very careful not to get my hopes high okay. because they have proven over time over time that they are not reliable they are not reliable at all now it has always happened this way it has always happened this way yeah. you saw the passion on the streets of abuja it doesn't like nigerians are passionate people passionate football lovers but the problem is if you keep getting battered every time like you get your hopes dashed every time like at some point you just give up and then you just expect anything to happen yeah now it's very sad and embarrassing that a club ranked a country ranked 150 something in the FIFA ranking okay is holding us in Nigeria not away this is not an away match it's in Nigeria it's very very poor you saw the attitude of the players very lackluster no like it's just it's very unfortunate and sad that it, we are even having this conversation it's even very 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 unfortunate that this conversation is even coming up because we are not even supposed to be talking about this these are this these are it, it is matches like this that we that you win that boost your ranking in, in fifa yeah if you keep losing and drawing matches like this you keep remaining you can never go beyond 40. I mean, it's sad because yesterday during the course of the game, when Nigeria was playing uh, that one all draw, Egypt was also playing. And Egypt was um, beating, um, was winning 6 0. Yes. Salah oh. scored four goals. Yes, Can Salah scored that? four goals. Now that's the difference a winner and um, a joker. Nigeria for me is a joke. <laughs> I don't know for you, but I think Nigeria is a joke. Now, when you see the likes of Victor Boniface, Vic okay, I understand Victor Simon was injured. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like our star man, our Ronaldo. He's injured, but there's Victor Boniface. Victor Boniface has scored many goals for Bayer Leverkusen this season. But when you play for Nigeria, now I asked, um, I asked some, you know, some people on my DM, and they were like, playing for Nigeria, yeah. I mean, when you play for Nigeria, you don't play with so much desire and hunger. And I'm like, why? Because when you get injured, they forget you. Yeah, you are on your own. So when you play for Nigeria, you just try to protect yourself so you don't do too much and don't get injured because it might affect you in the long run. Yeah, but it, should it be so? Well, from my own point of view, I don't, I don't think that should be an issue. These players are, they are strong to say. They are good for them to come in the first place to say they want to play for Nigeria. They should they should give their hearts out. They should give everything. They they should forget about uh, the fact that uh, we are going to get injured. They should remain positive. That's just what I believe. That's just what I believe. I don't I don't think that is the reason why they have to lose to uh, they have to draw uh, against Lesotho. Lesotho is a you know, It's not uh, a a football uh, powerhouse to sure. say. But in Africa, Nigeria is a giant. Nigeria is a giant. No no doubt about it. We have the stars, we have everything, all it takes to, to, to excel at that level. Look at Egypt uh, winning 6-0. Uh, uh, they have stars as well, but then they may be having the care of their, of their country uh, in place. But I don't think uh, overall care, not taking care of the, the stars, is, is the issue. What I see as an issue here is uh, lack of direction and passion. Yeah. Over time, and it has been happening over time. Yeah. That's just what I see among the stars. And then, even though they ca these players are capable of taking care of themselves, I'm not saying they should take care of themselves per se, but then, if you are willing to come out and, and put on the jersey and say you want to come and play for Nigeria, you should put, the, put everything in. Put everything in. And then, does it mean when, is it the injury that is stopping you from scoring the goal? Are you scared of injury? Are you scared of the ball? Kicking the ball as well? You see this uh, lackluster attitude uh, among the players yeah. um, most times. So I don't, I don't think uh, injury or care.
has anything to do with this. For, because for God's sake, you are playing against a football. Yes, so to. Yes, so to that some of their players are part-time footballers. Part-time. Yeah. Part-time. Some of them are bankers. Yeah. Accountants. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you have business. You have business. You have business. You have You have business. You have business. You have business. You These guys, these guys, they have other jobs. You are a professional. Did you see their faces though? <laughs> 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 like, you are being paid, you are yeah. being paid over 50,000 pounds weekly to play football. This is your job. This is what you do. Is that morning, right? afternoon, and night? And you are coming to play against fishermen and, and bankers. <laughs> and you are, you are, you are, you are at home. Well, you let's not forget our phone lines are on the screen. So, fortunately, please call us and give us your take on last night's game. Yes. And don't forget when you call us, do turn down the volume of your TV set to enable us hear you properly. Um, see why I understand your frustration. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, you know, yeah. When you when when the game is about like before the game and we are having making making analysis, yeah. We are like, oh, my dear, no, no, anything that happens, like if they like, they win. If they like, they don't win. That's the right heart of heart. We want them to. Yeah. Win. We want them to. Win. 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 Yeah, exactly. And you know, just for the sake of pride, like you go on, you go on um, on Twitter and you hear people. Like Ghanaians coming for us. Yes, yes. Oh, no, I'm all the time. I'm all the time. You know what? Thank God we did not, did not draw um to Ghana. Hmm. We shall not sleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that the fact that even Nigerians in the first place. Yeah. The fact that Nigerians are even saying if they like, let them win. If they like, they should not win. Is even a problem. The fact that they have they have created that impression in the minds of the fans yeah. is actually a very big problem. You are supposed to be proud. You can't see an English. You, you can't see England playing against any team, and then you go to the street and you see English people saying, "We may lose. Mm. We may not. We may not. We may win." Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, because we are very confident. So we have a caller. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to Sports Just. Yeah. Good afternoon. My name is Tiofelos. Tiofelos. Good afternoon. Where are you calling us from? Yeah, I'm coming from West. A five bomb. Let's hear your take on the Nigerians game. Yeah, what I'm trying to say, those guys, I watched those guys live, those guys were not serious. Because let's mm -hmm. assume they were very serious, they would have won those guys hands down. Mm -hmm. Lesotho is not a country that Nigeria is supposed to debate about. Mm -hmm. sure. It's not a country that Nigeria is supposed to ask when we win. A situation where by a player, they are very, very serious. What you know they were doing at you is sending kicking up and down, slapping up and down. <laughs> 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 so, they were going to do some what they came here to do. Yeah. They, they refuse. They were not serious. Those guys are not serious. They are not serious at all. Okay. And the people supposed to use the new players that they brought in, not those yeah. old players that are not yeah. serious. True. They're supposed to use people like Keller and the rest of them. You're supposed to use those players and start the game. True. So that at least those guys will like fighting for their shit. Those ones they believe that they have already gotten their shit. That was very bad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tio Fellows, for calling us. Thank you. Have a nice day. He said my mind. He said, I'm sure he said all our minds. You can feel the anger. You can feel the anger. Yeah, we are angry. No, we should be angry. Because when I went out in the street and I talked to one of um, the, the people I saw on the street, yeah, he, made, he said something that made me laugh. He said, Nigeria should be able to beat their 5-0. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Two What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I expect, no, I expected the likes of um, Boniface. Um, tell her, you know, to just come there and shine like, you know, just like what Salah did for Egypt yesterday. Salah got four oh, goals. Have you ever watched Portugal play and Ronaldo does not score a goal? Yesterday he did the same again, right? Yes, <laughs> so, yes. Have, you, no, have you ever watched Portugal play? It's on a rare occasion that Portugal plays any team in this world and Ronaldo does not score at that age. And it's not just Ronaldo, it's the fact that Playing for Portugal, I don't know, it comes with so much, you know, playing for your country. For your country. Yes. I see the England players. A call up. A call up is a dream come true. Yes. Exactly. A people are dreams of all the other wins. I watched Beckham's documentary. Yeah. And you know what it meant when he got that England call up? Oh, nothing compares. Playing f nothing compares to playing for your national team. The honor, the pride. When you walk out and you sing that national anthem. 
that is the biggest pride of every footballer. But when it comes to Nigeria, you know, it's funny I don't blame, I don't blame the players. How? You know, I don't blame the players, but I don't blame them. So who would you blame? I blame the coach. I blame everybody. <laughs> yeah, the system, the system, the system. The system. The system. The everybody involved. As much as I don't want to say this, but we yeah. have to say it the way it is. The system is bad. Yeah. It is very bad yeah. and it makes it, it makes our players look bad. Do you disagree with me? No, I don't disagree with you. To, to be candid, uh, our footballing system, in fact, generally, our system in this country is not really working, to say the least. Uh, and the football system, the uh, NFF has been uh, a really, really, uh, let's say, sorry, it's, it's been a very, very corrupt system over time. And hiring coaches and then and firing and then controversies at the background yeah. uh, causing the, the players to look free lose faith you can see the last uh, uh, qualification phase the last World Cup, the one we play, the match especially the match we played against ghana the one we drew one all yeah you see this lethargic attitude of the player see they didn't come to the pitch to play and all these things i can't force the player totally a doubt has been created at the background yeah there is there is lack of faith just like you said earlier, we can also point uh, at that point where injury has to come and then the player has to, to go down, then nothing is that way. But then, I'm seeing this, uh, this, this system that is not working. This system is not working. The NFF system is not working at all. So the managers that they are bringing in, you, you may take out those managers to that environment, they will perform well. But they come to our own country, they are not doing well. Our players are doing well outside as well. They come to our country, they are not doing well. Now, speaking so, of managers, yeah? Now, Jose Pesero came highly recommended. Yeah. He came highly recommended. I mean, Jose Mourinho. We all know Jose Mourinho. Yeah. He was the person who recommended Jose Pesero. And he came with so, you know, so much enthusiasm. People had high hopes. But then again, I, I don't know. Do you think Nigeria needs an indigenous manager? If whether indigenous or, or uh, a foreign manager. Yeah. Nigeria has a, a system that is bad. In, in the sporting sector, okay. this uh, I don't care attitude. Uh, it, it, it's most of the time it's all about money. It's all, they, they're always dragging money at the background. That's what that's what I feel. They're always dragging money at the background. They don't. The sporting aspect of the of the, uh, this whole deal is not being taken care of. That's just what I see. It's not even if you bring Rosie uh, uh, to to the system to do very uh, contest to so Nigeria as a coach. Nigeria uh, sporting system always have this way of making what is very very beautiful looking bad. True, I agree with you completely. So, uh, so I don't really uh, think the, the, the issue here is with the manager coming from the foreign land or being indigenous. But but then we should give our own uh, try sometimes. Yeah, like, like I'm not I'm not a fan <laughs> of indigenous indigenous yeah. an indigenous coach or foreign coach. I'm not really a fan of that ideology okay but if you look back in the last 20 years our most successful outings have been with indigenous coaches mm, true yeah, our most successful outings have been with indigenous coaches even with the under 17 and under under um 20, 20 years, yeah they have all come under in indigenous coaches yeah yeah okay That's i'm not really a fan of whether it's uh, an indigenous coach or a foreign coach but then something is wrong somewhere something is wrong somewhere. sure sure Something is wrong somewhere. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, that the last time we won Nations Cup, that same day or the next day, Stephen Keshi resigned. Hmm. The next day, he resigned. I mean, he raised his eyebrows. Yes, we woke up the next day to get to hear the news that Stephen Keshi, that just won the Nations Cup, has, has resigned. resigned. That's to tell you how bad it is. There's something, something is going on. on. Something is wrong at the back. These days, when they get these coaches, you have a percentage that you pay to them. Okay. You pay a certain percentage to your, to the to the people that recommend mm -hmm. that, that the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is it. This corruption is eating up our system so much. We used to be around between 15 and 30 on the FIFA ranking. Yeah. When last did we even smell 30? <laughs> when last did, we <laughs> did we even make it to Qatar? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's get to Qatar yes. first now. Usually, usually Qatar you didn't get to go to this one to go to being on 32 <laughs> on the FIFA ranking is actually a very bad thing yeah, for Nigeria. Like because that. our standard was very high. But now, 40, nobody's even caring. Nobody's even caring anymore. Because it has become a normal thing. 
you, you know what baffles me, yeah? It's the fact that we produce great players. Very good no, players. Check out the players now Nigeria has produced now in Africa. Very I mean, good. if you go to Egypt, the only name you, you mention is uh, Salah. In my opinion, no. Salah. 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 That's their that's, name. Yeah, that's the only name but in Nigeria. I mean, there's Olaino. No, no. There's Iwobi. There's all seamen. There's so many names to but mention. We have, so, we have consistently produced good players. Okay? Yeah. Like, but then, we don't have a system. And then the corrupt events happening at the background keeps sucking away the energy. That's exactly what's happening to Manchester United right now, too. We just have to go there. Yes, when the environment is not conducive. Exactly. When the environment yes. is not conducive, it has a psychological way of affecting the players. Yeah. It has. Okay. Now, what have you asked yourself that if you look at the recent trend, you have so many Nigerian play, born players playing for foreign countries. It has never been this high. No, it has never been there. this high. You have Destiny Doji. You have uh, um, Saka. Tella. Like you have so Tella. many. So, much, so many. It has, it has never Tella. been at, It has never been this high. <laughs> so many handsome young men. It has never been. It has never been. It has never been. You have so many good players doing yeah, well, yeah. but none of them wants to come and play, play for Nigeria. Will I you blame them though? though? Will you blame them? I don't know. I don't know if you said me that Odise is even planning to switch to Algeria. Yes. Yes. He's even coming back to no, Nigeria. No, no, oh, exactly. Odise switching to Algeria is even better for him, in my opinion, because yeah. when we get the really bad players, they have to put that themselves. During the World Cup, what you, why did you guys think Morocco as a nation they shone like a star? It's because the nation was backing them. The city of Rabat. Was in standstill when Morocco defeated Portugal. How many Nigerians will be confident to go and shut down an entire city? <laughs> the last you time see screens, <laughs> people, it's like they have one voice. It's just like when you wa when you watch Brazil, a country like Brazil yeah. playing in the final or hosting the World Cup, you see the streets of Sao Paulo, you know Rio de Janeiro, so many people coming out. Even the president, we watched the World Cup final. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we saw how Emmanuel Macron. Mm -hmm. How he was going gaga over Mbappe's goal. <laughs> <laughs> that is the passion we need from yeah. Nigeria. But the boy, they God. have to show their passion in Abuja. They, they fell our hand. No, no, no. Exactly. Exactly. That's what happened. And remember that day because it's still still not sweet to bear. Now we all. I have to play 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 show. Show. Yeah, they have to play. I mean, one of the Oh, It was shut down. <laughs> going home, we go home around. We go home at 12 because the hold up was massive. People came out in numbers to watch Nigeria. Uh, what happened? Behold. I want to get to a point where when Nigeria is taking on any country, I'm like, it's a walkover. Look at Argentina. Argentina just lost a game. They lost to um, Uruguay um, the early this morning. And they've gone 14 games unbeaten. One year. Life. One year. That is November. Last the last time they actually lost the game was in the World Cup. Yes. And in Saudi yes, Arabia. The first, yes, the first, that, that, okay. that opening game, yes. Yeah, okay. 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 Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's it. Now, so is there no, if no, that's, it? That's, that's how you play as a nation. Fast, they have not lost the game. I mean, I know they have Lionel Messi. But come on, check it now. We have Osimen. We have Osimen. You, you are going too far talking about Osimen. <laughs> Osimen is far away. Oh, really? Look at uh, Victor Boniface. We have, you cannot compare. Yeah. Okay, look at. You cannot carry. Mm -hmm. There is no single player in the Nigeria squad that you can compare to a Lesotho player. No. No, no, no. You can't. Do you even know anybody? Yeah? Thank you. I, don't, I can't remember any. I'm black right now. Did you see their faces? Did you see their faces? No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. I can't dance. You have some little drivers. <laughs> do you know how honored? Do you know how honored and humbled they were coming to Nigeria? Very happy. They they said play in a yo, that stadium. It was probably the best stadium they've played in. Some of them even be pastors. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to Sports Jess. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Your name and where you're calling uh, us yes, from? Okay, let's hear your take on the Nigerians game. Um, okay, welcome, Adeolu. Go on. Okay, go on. Please, uh, yesterday I did not watch the match. So, okay. I did not watch the match yesterday for the head score. All right. I, I 
you are you are you continue laughing. We don't even know what you are saying. So let us know your view. All right, just keep listening, that you know our view. Thank you. Okay, continue. See why? Like it's it's bad. Something is wrong somewhere. Yeah. Something is wrong somewhere. There are many things that that we don't know about this national team. Okay, what is happening at the background? We don't know. We have seen so many times in the past where you get you see coaches coming out to say they have not been paid for six months, one year, mm -hmm. and all those things. That environment is not conducive. Okay. When you are working under that kind of working condition, you don't give your best. We have seen so many times in the past where these players come out to complain that they don't get paid after playing for the for, for Nigeria. Yeah. All these things. I know we saw that during the women's work. The women's work mm -hmm. so psychologically, it affects the whole team. It affects the team when you know that even if you give your best, when you get injured, you are not being you are not going to be cared for. Yeah. Okay. I know we said that is the that is the general problem that many clubs are actually fighting FIFA for right now. Okay. There, there's even some there's there's um, a, a debate going on right now where um, people are agitating that when the player gets injured when playing for the national team, okay, the, the um, FIFA has to compensate the club for that it's right when the player is playing a fifa qualifier or fifa World Cup. yeah okay there is still is still they are still deliberating about it it's not yet a law but like but then nigeria's case is totally different it's not even close to that case because like you have something is just wrong somewhere so i mean something has always been wrong mm -hmm. somewhere the, the 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 question here is how do we fix it do we need an indigenous manager because some people are calling for the sack if you get to say if you get an individual an indi uh, indigenous coach yeah. right now there are so many things involved they must bribe that like that coach has to settle so many people that coach has to settle so many people so how do we want to fix get this appointed as a how coach. do we fix this problem well uh, first of all i wonder what tactics nigeria is playing i wonder what they are playing most of the time they're all over the pitch you are wondering what are they playing yeah who, who is going forward and who is who is defending sometimes you, you see that there is no coherence it's difficult to find a coherence in, in, the, in the nigeria uh, national team okay an attack is going all of a sudden what is making that attack you don't know it might be just a player uh, falling on his own hitting the, the glass and then falling on his own you wonder what, what is going on with this could it be the the, the condition of the stadium I, I, we, we, we play football. We play on, on bad pitches. Yes, yeah. even Kruta. Yes, we play on bad pitches. <laughs> so we, we, we can't say the pitch is, is the problem. We yeah. play street football and we, we play them well. Uh, at least at the amateur level, we play, we, we play street football. It's, we can't blame all these things. We can't give, give, keep giving excuses all the time. I think People I will take it. it. Something just, something just will take it. it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it from right God. Now. I just, I feel that the major problem right now yeah. is that we have so many players coming from so many leagues okay. so many countries coming together to play in our national team okay. okay now let's do a rundown of teams that are performing well right now uh, you have things like egypt the core of that team is built around players that play together oh okay that now makes look sense. at spain the heart of the team is built around players that play together Barcelona and Madrid they are either from Barcelona or Madrid yes, and they yes. add others yeah, yeah. Okay. look at England okay you have most of them play, play in, in the English family so sure. there, is, there is a style of play they know what what is obtainable yeah. they know the intensity okay so they, to an extent they know each other okay okay now look at countries doing well around the world Brazil right now they are struggling because they have so many players playing in Europe they are scattered this one, one is playing in Spain. What about Argentina? Argentina. They are Argentina also like that. They, they, are doing, they are doing well. They are doing well also. Now, I, I don't know. It's working for Argentina right now. I think probably maybe the Lionel Messi factor. So, you, you're saying Nigeria, like, yeah, we should replicate what England is I doing? Think if, if possible. If possible. Yeah? If we have tried this for base players. I know it may sound like rubbish right now. Okay. But we have tried this for base players and they keep messing up. Can we keep, can, why can't we try home base? Okay? And then add some. I mean, it may, it may sound senseless. Okay, but, yeah. I mean, you're looking <laughs> correct. You're looking at that 2013 team, Syndication team. The what? The, 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 yes, I exactly what I was coming to. Exactly what I was coming to. Well, that? our time is fast spent. I wish we could um, do more, but that's the most we can take for today. Well, I hope Nigeria fixes it. We still have to play Rwanda.
we have to play South Africa and you know still play Lesotho at um, Lesotho if, you know stadium. Hopefully Nigeria can you know get their acts together and make us proud. Thank you so much guys for being on the show. Thank you me. very much. Thank you to our you. amazing viewers. To the callers, thank you. Let's do this again, same time, same station, next week when the show returns. I remain dearest Mba. Do have a wonderful weekend.